great. Michaela Skinner, of course, we saw her many, many times in a Leo. Now she's in street clothes, silver medalist from the Olympic Games. Thank you very much for coming by and joining us. I know you're up on the on the concourse. How long did you sign autographs? Uh, for an hour. Felt uh, like two, but uh, <laughs> didn't get everybody in, so I was rushing as fast as I could. I Felt heard bad. the line was, was pretty long. Yeah. Um, I just actually got a chance to see that first rotation. What would you think of the uh, two Olympic teammates? I think it's amazing. It's incredible to see Utah grow and to, you know, fulfill the legacy that we've created, and they're doing amazing. I'm just so proud. It's so weird sitting back in the stands sure. and watching, you know? <laughs> That's what I was going to ask you. Obviously, we had many years getting to watch you and your incredible gymnastics, but when you come back in here, I mean, and you're watching your teammates, do you miss it? I do. I thought I wouldn't, but I almost cried when, you know, they got to the last rotation, which is floor. And I was like, I just want to go out there and do floor one more time in the Huntsman Center. But it's been so fun to, you know, have a normal life and now get to cheer on these girls like they did for me. Well, so. I'm sure you could jump back out there and probably still do it. But what are you up to now? Are you still involved in gymnastics? I'm not. I've been taking, you know, the time to just be a normal person. And I'm finishing school my last year here at the U. So we're living back here and just enjoying life and just trying to figure out what I want to do. It's kind of weird now. Yeah, you, know? you and your your husband Jonas, right? Yes, so, and yes. you guys have been married a couple years now. Two years. Two years now. Yep. Uh, you know, I, I have to tell you this because I rarely do this, but yeah. when when you won your medal at the Olympic Games, and I want you to tell us about the lead up to that, I was so excited for you because I've been through part of your ride, and your career's been an odyssey. You've had ups and downs. You've been close. Had things taken away from you. And to win that medal, I was so excited, I actually texted Tom Farden and said, I'm so happy for Michaela. Tell us when you found out you were going to fill in for Simone Biles on the vault, what your reaction was and what your mood was, and then winning the medal. Yeah, so I didn't find out till 24 hours before the meet. And I know that after team finals, they told me I had to stay and I was going to fly out and go home. And I had to wake up the next morning, go to practice, change my mindset. And I'm like, this could be it. Like, I could be going in for vault. Like, how crazy. Like, I never would have thought this was going to happen. And then before you know it, Simone was like, you're in, you're going in, you're doing this. And I was like, I'm doing this for us. Like, let's go out there and let's do this. And had that opportunity to win a silver medal. And, you know, all my dreams came true. And I just feel so blessed and honored to go out and represent Team USA and be able to go out and compete one last time. I think it really is a testament to your character. You had so much success and there were some disappointments and some of it wasn't fair and I'll say it for you. Uh, to get that opportunity, it's funny how destiny steps in. But I, I was surprised at how you were ready. You stayed ready. You just kind of assumed that there was going to be one more chapter at the back of your book. I did. I did. I, I felt it in the back of my mind. I, I knew it was maybe going to happen, but didn't think it was going to happen like that, you know? So that was just incredible. Such a cool experience. What's the best thing that's happened to you since the Olympic Games? I don't know. I just, I think retiring from gymnastics and just being able to live Come, life. Coming back to Utah. <laughs> yeah. Coming back to Utah <laughs> and watching the gymnastics because it's getting real hot in here. <laughs> Two-time NCAA champion, a multiple Pac-12 champion, I think seven times. 111 victories here at the University of Utah. It's always great to come to the Huntsman Center. Uh, Amanda and I are, are a little angry with you. We wanted to see one more year, but I understand <laughs> enough is enough. And you finish. Listen, we cannot be happier for you the way it, it turned out. Nobody deserved a medal more than you did. Thank you. Really happy for you. And you, you always showed grace and poise the whole time. And you put up with all of us. So thanks so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. And